Jim, you remember the date I had last week? Oh yeah, what happened? Man, something very interested happened. What did you say? Something very interested? Grammar granny? We've talked about this grammar before, right? And you be quiet. Now listen, Ryan, you have to be careful with your verb tenses. You should say something very interesting happened. Not, not something very interested. I'm so bad with verb tenses. So, what's the grammar rule? Oh, it's something very interesting because... Because you're not talking about your current feelings. Current feelings. You're talking about something. That's what I was going to say. I'm interested. That's interesting. Thanks, Grammar Granny. So, what happened on the day? Um, we held hands. Good, good. Doodaloo. Held hands? That's it? Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Soul, and welcome to the Grammar Granny series. What's that you said? You're interesting in studying English? No, you aren't. You're interested in studying English. Let's cut to the chase. The ED ending, interested, is for when you're talking about yourself and your feelings. The ING ending, interesting, is for when you're talking about others or something outside of yourself. For example, wow, that TV show is really interesting. I'm interested in that TV show. Hip-hop dance is really interesting. I'm interested in hip-hop dance. I'm interested in cooking. Are you interested in cooking? So remember, I'm interested. You're interested. English is interesting. Are you the English language? No! So it's not English is interested. Quiz time! I am in fashion. Interesting or interested? Interested. This video is amazing or amazed? Amazing! Nan bread is satisfied or satisfied? Satisfying. Good job, Paul. Thanks, Grammar Granny. Learn more expressions on the Cake app to talk like a native speaker. Download Cake now.